Hey guys, so welcome to another video in Lake Tahoe. I am in my room right now and I thought I would film another video for you guys. I am looking out onto this gorgeous view. I'll flash a picture of it right here, but we have a room with the lake view. It's just, it's so incredible. <laughs> it's so incredible. It has like the two things that I miss living in Vegas, which is water <laughs> and greenery. The trees here are just absolutely incredible. Uh, but anyway, I thought I would um, do a will I buy it video because as I was flipping through Instagram last night uh, in bed, <laughs> I came across a whole bunch of new releases that are coming out that look really, really interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am on the Angel Naked One Instagram feed and I will leave um, his information down below in my description box along with like anyone else's feed that I use. But this feed has like amazing, amazing luxury makeup release information that I don't see anywhere else. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that it looks like Shantikai is coming out with a cushion foundation. I like, I, I don't think I've been this excited for a release in a really, really long time. I love Shantikai foundations. I have kind of gotten into um, cushion foundations a little bit more and more over the past year or so. The Tom Ford one I love, the Sisley one I love. So I am very excited for this. It is called the Future Skin Cushion. And I'm not sure that there is a release date for this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe next month. Wait, what month are we in? It's October. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe in November, but this looks incredible. It has an elephant on the lid of it. So I'm thinking that it is probably going to have some sort of connection to um, the elephant not-for-profit that they donate to. I'll put it on the screen here what the name of the not-for-profit is. So that is incredibly exciting. And we have another foundation release. This is from Chanel. This is a Sublimage Lessons de Ten. There you go. That's the best I'm going to do. I do not know when this is releasing. Um, it looks like the brush comes with it and the brush looks like it has like an angled triangle shape, which looks really, really cool. I like when there's like a little tip to the brush because you can get into like around your nose and like imprecise areas a little bit more easily. So that looks very interesting. I love Chanel foundations. So all of this looks very, very interesting to me. I wish I had more news on this. Oh, I'm popping over to Chic Profile Officials feed. She has a little bit more information on this. It's going to be $150. Uh, being that it's part of the Sublimage line, I'm wondering if there is like skincare benefits to the foundation, which would be exciting. Oh yes, sorry if I just kept reading, I would have better information for you. It's a new foundation serum, specially designed with active ingredients, buildable coverage capability, accompanied by a smooth and flawless skin finish, light, comfortable texture, and it just says launching soon. I'm hoping um, a November release for that foundation as well. That would be very, very exciting. Ooh, and it looks like we have um, a new By Terry Holiday Collection, which looks gorgeous. It's the By Terry Twinkle Glow Holiday Collection uh, 2020. And it looks like there is, I don't know if it's like an encrusted kind of compact with what looks like a highlighter on the inside that has the potential to be really, really incredible. I love the By Terry powders. They're so, so soft, like the ones in the face palette with the chevron pattern and the compact expert like dual powders, the one with like the center shade and then there's an outer shade. Oh my God, those powders are so soft. So I'm excited for this. And then it looks like they also have some other like ornament style um, holiday sets for little deluxe sample sizes, like for their Balm de Rose, for the Hyaluronic Powder. Oh, this looks really great. Some other like holiday sets. So, oh, this is really exciting. I really love By Terry products. So I definitely want to pick up that highlighter for sure. I'll probably pass on the holiday packaging unless I'm buying a gift for someone. But for myself, I definitely want to try that highlighter powder. And sorry, jumping back to Shantikai, it looks like they're coming out with two new luminescent eye shades. 
One is a crane, I think, which is like a burgundy. And then one is a zebra, which is like a gold. Oh my gosh, these look incredible. I think they're available already on Space NK. And ooh, that zebra one looks gorgeous. Now, by the looks of these like eye swatches, they look like they have a lot of shimmer to them, but they look really smooth. They don't look chunky like some of the original luminescent eye shades chunky's not the right word but they had like micro glitters in there these look like the kind that are a little bit smoother and just have like a really high shine kind of like satin finish that's so exciting i love love these eyeshadows i did experience a little bit of fallout with the original six shades but if i applied them wet or if i applied them over a little bit of like shadow base they were totally fine. They are so incredible. It's like a baked formula and they're just, oh, they're just absolutely gorgeous on the lid. So I'm really, really excited for these. All right, wow. It looks like we have a lot of holiday stuff coming from NARS. Looks like they have some audacious lipsticks in, I'm guessing limited edition holiday gold packaging. Those are $34 each. And then it looks like they have some like lipstick duos, lipstick trios, um, and some other lip products. And the pricing all ranges between like $20 and $45. So some of these things are available here already, and I'm guessing they're just gonna keep dropping stuff as the holidays get closer. But I love the NARS Afterglow Balm, and I feel like tinted balms make such a good holiday present because sometimes it's really hard to buy like color products for someone else it's hard to buy like skincare products for someone else but like a tinted balm like who doesn't need a tinted balm so i think that as holiday sets are really smart oh it looks like there's also a brush set oh wow so there's really a lot of stuff coming from nars and tom ford looks like he's coming out with a lot of cushion foundations i don't know if these are new formulas or if they're just repackaging so like there's this one um, that's black with like red lettering on top. I have a feeling these may just be released um, in the Asian countries or maybe only in Europe. I don't know if we're gonna be getting these, but I don't have much information on that. And then there's the Rose Prick collection. So that's based off of the Tom Ford Rose Prick fragrance. And it looks like they're repackaging and re-promoting the Body Heat Eye Color Quad as part of this Rose Prick like mini collection. I think there's a cushion foundation with that as well. Again, I don't know if that's just repackaging of an existing Tom Ford uh, foundation. I'm not sure. There really isn't that much information on that. And again, I don't know if it's going to be released in the U.S., when it's going to be released in the U.S., where it's going to be released. So anyway, when more information comes, I will be happy to share that with you. But for the moment, I don't really know what's happening with Rose Prick. If you guys know what's happening with all of these like little Tom Ford collections, let us know down below in the comment section. Oh, and Natasha Denona looks like she's coming out with another five pan palette. I think this is a mini. It looks like a mini. It's hard to tell in the pictures, um, but it has like a red shade in there. And I think that is great for the holidays, for Valentine's Day. I think that's really pretty. Again, hard to tell from the photo, but it looks like there's maybe four mattes and one shimmer shade, which I think is pretty different for the Natasha Denona five pans. She usually has more shimmers in there. From the looks of this picture, that red color has like a little bit of like rustiness to it. Ooh, looks so pretty. Oh, and the eyeshadow palette's name is Peak, P-E-A-K, and yes, four creamy mattes and one metallic shade in there. Cool. All right, I'm hopping over to Trend Mood 1, and wow, this is really exciting. So it looks like M Cosmetics is coming out with their first complexion product. This is their Daydream Cushion Perfect and Protect SPF 50 PA++. And it says it's suitable for all skin types and available in six shades with optically diffused pigments, which allow each shade to stretch across multiple skin tones. Wow, very, very cool. It says coming soon, so I don't really have a date on this. Again, maybe November, that's gonna be my guess for everything. Well, from the looks of the pictures, it looks like it's going to be possibly like a little radiant 
at least that's what these pictures of all of these models look like. Like there's a little bit of radiance on their complexion. I'm definitely down for that. That's really exciting. So another cushion foundation. Oh, and it looks like Glossier has come out with, oh, two new body care products. Oh, we have the Body Hero Exfoliating Bar for $14. I think this is out already. It's a no mess body scrub, fits in the palm of your hand and sloughs away dead skin and dryness, revealing soft baby smooth skin. I am not, I'm not the biggest fan of um, soap bars. I mean, they definitely have their place, like they say. It's a no mess body scrub, which is pretty cool. But I really like my body scrubs that like come in a tub. So I don't know if I'm down for that, but the other product they've come out with sounds very interesting. It's the Body Hero Dry Touch Oil Mist for $28 an intoxicating neroli scented dry body oil that moisturizes in a flash. And with the colder months on the way, I think this is going to be a nice addition to my bath routine. And I really love like the neroli scent. It's like slightly fruity, slightly floral. It's really, really pretty. So I may have to try that out for sure. And something I actually saw on the Beautylish site, but Kevin O'Quan looks like they've come out with uh, some things for the holiday season. So it looks like there's a highlighter palette, a shadow palette, and then a cream foil trio. These are available like on Beautylish and Sephora, I believe. So the all over highlight palette, $48. I would like to see swatches of this because when I look at this palette, or at least the picture of this palette, the shades look kind of deep for me in terms of a highlighter. Maybe not that first one, but the remainder of them, they look uh, a little bit on the deeper side for my skin tone. So I would like to see swatches of it. I guess it would depend on how maybe sheer the highlight is, but I'm definitely gonna wait to see swatches on that for sure. And I do like Kevin O'Quan's eyeshadow uh, formula. So that uh, Blitz Kid shadow palette for $59 is slightly tempting. I don't wear that much purple um, when it comes to eyeshadow, but when I actually like look at the shades that aren't like the pops of color, there's that like red, orange, and purple. If I look at the rest of them, they all just look like kind of cool tone, mauve kind of shades, which I really enjoy. When I first saw this eyeshadow palette, I was like, oh, that's not for me, I'm gonna pass. But the more I look at it, the more I realize that my eyes were drawn just to those three pops of color and I was kind of ignoring the rest of it. And now, <laughs> and now I'm tempted by it. And then it looks like Kevin O'Quan is also coming out with a Kaleidochrome Cream Foil Trio for $32. And I can't tell if that's for the eyes or the lips. I think, I think maybe eyes, Cream Foil Trio. That makes me think it's gonna be like a foily eyeshadow. So that I think I'll probably pass. I think I have enough cream eyeshadows um, in my collection, but the colors look really, really pretty. And then last but not least, Tom Ford has come out with a new fragrance. It is called Bitter Peach. I love <laughs> peach and like apricot scents. I, I just, I love it. I really love fruity scents. Uh, citrus is probably my favorite, but I am so intrigued by this uh, Bitter Peach scent. If any of you guys have picked it up, Will you please let me know like how sweet it is because as much as I like fruity scents I don't like them to be like overly like nauseatingly sweet I just kind of like a hint of it so let me know down below in the comment section but I am definitely very very intrigued by that all right well that is it for this will I buy it let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section let me know if there's anything that I mentioned that you really really want me to purchase to review on my channel uh, let me know if I missed anything, if there's some new releases out there that have piqued your interest. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.